know, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. So now it's coming out that LeBron James and the Lakers admit it was a bad idea to trade for Russell Westbrook. Yet they tell you this man has the highest basketball IQ. So if he have the highest basketball IQ, why would he suggest let's get Russell Westbrook? When he knows Russ' game doesn't fit his. They both demand the basketball. They both need the basketball. They're both not good shooters. So why would you say let's go get Russell Westbrook? Yet they'll tell you this man has the highest basketball IQ. Yet he would co-sign a decision like this. Make it make sense. You know Russ can't shoot. You know yourself can't shoot. So why would we both get on the court together? And on top of that, that's going to ruin the entire spacing on the team. Because Russ can't shoot. You can't shoot. Y'all both operate around a basket in the paint. Plus AD needs the paint. So this is just common sense. Yet, he co-signed them getting Russell Westbrook. And he thought, you know what? I'm LeBron James. I could figure it out. And after things went bad, it went left. They fired Frank Vogel. And they scapegoat Russell Westbrook. Typical LeBron fashion. He thinks he knows everything. He thinks he's some basketball genius, as they keep saying, which is bullshit. And when things go left or, you know, it doesn't go as planned, somebody got to take the fall. And it's never going to be LeBron. He'll never take the fall, ever. It's always going to be a teammate, a coach, somebody on the staff. Because he's shielded from any scrutiny, any kind of damage. He's always shielded. And Russ went to Clippers on the other side of town. And it's been gravy ever since. Russ is doing his thing. The Clippers are one of the hottest teams in the league right now. Even last year when Russell Westbrook went there, he did his thing in the playoff. What's crazy about it, everybody felt like the Lakers were making a mistake when they tried to acquire Russell Westbrook. We all was like, no, it's not a good fit. It's a bad fit. Russ can't shoot. LeBron can't shoot. They're both ball dominant. So anyone with a basketball IQ knew it was a bad fit. But LeBron James, who supposedly has the highest basketball IQ, thought it was a great idea. Now make it make sense. He supposedly has the highest basketball IQ, but he couldn't have foreseen this one. Imagine that. The dude who has the basketball IQ supposedly couldn't have foreseen that Russell Westbrook was a terrible decision. Yet everybody else saw it. All the fans, all the analysts, all the sports media, anyone who have half a brain knew the situation. And once things didn't work, as we all expected, They scapegoated Russell Westbrook. They blamed all of it on him. He's the reason, which he wasn't, but you know they're going to scapegoat somebody. They made a few trades at the deadline last season, locked up, made it to the the Western Conference Finals, got destroyed by Denver, fast forward to this season, and they're garbage. Russell Westbrook is no longer on the team, yet they're garbage. So this team wasn't good to begin with. Now they're trying to scapegoat Darvin Ham. And saying, you know, it's his coaching. Yes, he makes a few questionable decisions here or there. Okay. But you can't blame it all on the coach. It's Darvin Ham's fault. He's the reason why we're losing all these games. No, it's not. The fact of the matter is the team sucks. LeBron is old. AD's playing very well, but he can't do it by himself. And that's just the fact of the matter. But you know, they always find somebody to scapegoat and blame. That's just the way it is. So now, this time around... They're trying to blame Darvin Ham for all the failures. There's no more Russell Westbrook, so now we got to blame Darvin Ham. Typical LeBron fashion. And everybody know LeBron James and Russell Westbrook on the same team didn't make any sense. It just didn't make sense. It just didn't make sense logically. It just don't make sense. Spacing. They both need the ball. They both can't shoot very well. I mean, it's just common sense. Even if you don't know basketball fully, If you just know the basics, you could see this was a bad decision, man. And now they're coming out saying, yes, it was a bad decision, misjudgment. You think? We all were saying that before the trade happened. But no, LeBron, you know, LeBron gets whatever he wants. He has the final decision. And Rob Pelinka, Genie Bus, they went ahead. Because if LeBron wants this, that's what we're going to do. Wasted two seasons because they claim LeBron is the GM, you know. He has a great basketball IQ. I couldn't tell. If he has a great IQ like they claim, then he should have seen this one. This is obvious. You and Russ don't fit together. Not on the same team. 
The only way you guys would work is if Russ comes off the bench and the coach staggers your minutes. You're not on the floor together. That's the only way that'll really work. But together on the same court, I mean, I'm surprised it took him this long to come out and say it. But you know what? It is what it is. The team still suck. Even after Russell Westbrook left, went to Clippers, the Lakers still suck. They're still losing. They're not good. Even after all the trades they did in the summer, in the offseason, you know. And what's crazy about this whole situation? Jeannie Buss blamed Frank Vogel. You gave the man recipes that don't work. They don't complement each other. And then you want him to make magic. And when it doesn't work as you plan, you're going to say it's his fault why the team wasn't successful. No, it's not his fault. You gave the man recipes that wasn't good for the dish. You gave him Russell Westbrook, and he had to start Russell Westbrook, which we all knew wasn't going to work. And when it didn't work out, you blame Frank Vogel. You fired him after he won you the bubble championship. A chip nevertheless, even though it's a bubble chip. They fired him, brought Darvin Ham in, and now everybody's trying to scapegoat Darvin Ham. So it's always an issue. No matter who coached LeBron, it's, there's always an issue. Like, what's the point, man? At some point, we got to say it's LeBron. At some point, you got to say it's LeBron. Because they're always scapegoating somebody. Frank Vogel didn't utilize Russell Westbrook properly. He's the reason the team failed, even though they won the bubble chip. So there was no issue when he won the bubble chip. But the following season, when he got Russell Westbrook, now he's the reason why the team was unsuccessful. That's crazy. But this is what Jeannie Buss is saying. But you know how it is, man. They always trying to find somebody to blame, scapegoat when it comes to LeBron. That's just the way it works. This is why I don't understand why any player or coach would want to deal with LeBron. Like, why? You know the outcome. It's inevitable. You know the outcome. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.